हाइपर एक्टिविटी वी सी डिफरेंट सिम्टम्स और डिफरेंट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स ऑफ हाइपर एक्टिविटी इन डिफरेंट डिजॉर्डर्स इन एडीएचडी द हाइपर एक्टिविटी इज डिफरेंट इन ऑटिज्म द हाइपर एक्टिविटी इज डिफरेंट इंटेलेक्चुअल डिसफंक्शन ऑफ द चिल्ड्रन हु आर हैविंग लेस आई क्यू देयर हाइपर एक्टिविटी कैन बी डिफरेंट चिल्ड्रन विद डाउन सिंड्रोम शो डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हाइपर एक्टिविटी और जेनेटिक डिसऑर्डर लाइक फ्रेजाइल एक्स शोज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ हाइपर एक्टिविटी इन एडीएच डी द चाइल्ड शोज मोर ऑफ ओवर एक्सप्लोरेशन मोर ऑफ अ डिस्ट्रेक्टेबिलिटी बट अ चाइल्ड इज हैविंग एडिक्वेट ओरिएंटेशन इन ऑफ द एनवायरमेंट इन टर्म्स ऑफ ऑटिज्म चाइल्ड इज लैकिंग इन ओवरऑल ओरिएंटेशन or most autism and severe autism we can say child does not have any orientation in the environment type, but child skips roaming here and there in the search of understanding the environment or in the search of exploration but he is because of sensory processing disorder he is not able to do it and then child the brain keeps exploring the environment in abnormal way that's the hyperactivity in autism in intellectual dysfunction when we say the in, in Uh, we say mr or uh, the mild intellectual dysfunction or moderate intellectual dysfunction it can be a borderline iq kids are emotionally more labile they will not show hyperactivity but they will show more of a clinginess to the to the people they will show over socialism they will they will try to they will be uh, if they are able to uh, they start laughing they are not able to control their laughter you know that emotional liability or we can say the the over sociability they appear like hyperactive in down syndrome we discussed that it is a hypotonia based hyperactivity where the child is hyperkinetic child distal movements are more happening but the proximal movements are not connected with those distal movements so the down syndrome are are uh, does show more of a hypotonia based hyperactivity and last is genetic disorders like fragile x in fragile x child shows typical adhd symptoms but the exploration is not that much adequate like what adhd kids may show because in fragile x the intellectual functioning of the child can be low can can uh, is most of the time on a lower side and this particular children may show the combination of adhd and a uh, slight slight in intellectual dysfunction uh, based hyperactivity so different disorders different neurological developmental disorders like adhd autism down syndrome genetic disorders uh, uh learning disabilities also we can say they they show different characteristic features of uh, hyperactivity their feature their etiological factors are different their causes are different so the treatment is also different most of the time children with autism are wrongly taken as hyperactive kids or adhd kids and then parent try to uh, teach them or try to control their hyperactivity but those those children are more into the exploratory form they are showing their inner drive to explore the environment but in abnormal way so so the controlling hyperactivity is is hazardous in autism rather than we have to understand what is the need of the child and how to how we can fulfill the need how we can help the child to explore that environment so most of the time we have seen if the if the autism child is treated like adhd then the children's activities goes low but at the same time the child's exploration ability also gets affected in attention deficit hyperactivity disorder we need a controlling approach or we need an authoritarian approach uh, to control the hyperactivity most of the time but exactly opposite the autism child if we show authoritarian approach if we show a controlling approach since they are operating more from the non verbal communication they may get detached from us they may show Uh, they may affect their it, that that approach may affect their sociability. So, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder based authoritarian approach cannot work in autism. In autism, we may require a nurturing approach, a nurturing parenting approach. Down syndromes are a very much different. We can understand, we can identify it's a Down syndrome, but sometimes 
there are overlappings of uh, uh, the symptoms of the disorders or there is a merging of two disorders together we need to identify which is the base disorder that we are going to treat first and what are the overlapping character, uh, uh, symptoms of the other disorder. Sometimes the child's base disorder is autism. He may show some characteristic features of ADHD also. Sometimes, many times I've seen in Down syndrome, the child is showing more of autism, autism features. In genetic disorder, Fragile X is showing more of ADHD, but they may show more of an intellectual dysfunction uh, 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 features. So we need to understand, we need to diagnose the, the, the characteristic features so that we can treat them appropriately. So these are the differences of hyperactivity seen in different disorders.